Okay, this little video is about midpoint and bisect. And so it's actually a relatively simple concept. And first we're going to look at the idea of a midpoint. Um, a midpoint is a point that divides a line segment into two parts of equal length. So go ahead and pause the video and make sure you have that written down. Okay. So what does that mean? Well, let's take a look at a, a little example here. This example, in this sign we see that it says, Welcome to Adrian, Texas. And what Adrian, Texas is, is it's a special place because it's right in the middle of this road that's called Route 66, or U.S. Highway 66. And Route 66 is a famous road that goes from Los Angeles to Chicago. And Adrian, Texas just happens to be right in the middle of this road. So looking over here at our line segment, uh, this is a good um, a good model of what Route 66 uh, could be like. Uh, we could go from point LA over here to point Chicago. And it says that Adrian, Texas is right in the middle. Okay? So that means Adrian, Texas is the midpoint of our Route 66 line segment. Okay? Now, if Adrian, Texas is exactly the middle, you'll notice that it says 1,139 miles on this side and 1,139 miles on that side. So that means that if Adrian, Texas is the midpoint, a midpoint means it's exactly in half, so that means whatever it is on this side, 1,139 miles, it's gonna be on the other side. So from LA to Adrian is the same length as it is from Adrian to Chicago. So that's what a midpoint is. It divides the line directly in half. Now let's take a look at what this would look like as a, as a math problem that you might see next class. Here we go. Example one, point M is the midpoint of segment AB. If the length of MB is six, find the length of AM. Well, this is pretty simple. The idea is that if M is our midpoint and it's six inches over here, we can then figure out what it is over here. And we know that a midpoint divides a line directly in half. So let me go ahead and get my uh, arrow going here. And we'll get the call tip pen. And we'll pick a color like this uh, sort of bright orange shows up really well. Okay. So if this six inches on this side from M to B, then we know that it's going to be also six inches over here from A to M. So that means the length of AM is going to be 6 inches. Hmm, pretty simple. Let's take a look at another example. In this one, uh, we're given that point R is the midpoint of segment, it should say Q, the Q, sorry about that, uh, segment QS. So then if Q R is 12 centimeters, find QS. Well, this one's a little trickier. Okay, we're told that QR is 12 centimeters. So that means from here to here, it's 12 centimeters. Not too bad. I'm sorry, this should say Q right here. This is our Q. A little typo there. So this is 12 centimeters from Q to R. Then we have to find out how far it is from Q to S. Well, most uh, students might say, well, it's 12 centimeters. Well, that's RS. We know that RS is 12, but we don't know is what QS is. So what we're looking for is if that's 12, I'm trying to figure out what that is. So I'm going to just erase this real quick. Okay. okay, so how long is X? Well, we know that this is 12 from Q to R. And then we also know if R is the midpoint, that we have another 12 centimeters over here. So that means that the whole length of QS is going to be 12 centimeters plus 12 centimeters or 24 centimeters. So it's a little trick here. But it's the same idea. We know that this side is the same length as this side. So that means the total all the way across must be 24 centimeters. All right, let's look at what a bisector is next. Well, first of all, let's take a look at this word bisect. 
Okay, the word bisect means to divide into two equal parts. So when I think of bisect, I think of cutting an apple in half. So here we have our apple, and it's been, you can see it's cut right down the middle, and here's one half here and the other half there. So that's the idea of bisect. The word bisect is actually made up of two different words. The word, word bi, which means, it actually means two, and then sect, which we could think of sections. Sections. So it means two sections or two pieces, two equal parts. Two equal parts. That's the word bisect. Okay, so another word that's related to that is a bisector. And a bisector is a line segment or ray, uh, sorry, a line, a segment or a ray that intersects a line segment at its midpoint. Okay, so what a bisector does is it actually cuts, just like this apple was cut in half, a line in half at the midpoint. So here we have a line, and we know that line AB bisects CD at EE. So E then is the midpoint of CD. Okay, so let's follow this again. We have the CD, and we know that AB, this line AB, bisects segment CD at this point right here. So what that means is that E is the midpoint of CD. So a bisector, this bisector, cuts this in half. So that means that this side over here is going to be the same length as this side over here. Not too tricky. So all a bisector does is it makes a what? A bisector makes a midpoint. Okay. So this bisector makes a midpoint here at E because this line bisects if I say it bisects AB bisects CD then I have a midpoint here at E pretty simple okay, let's take a look at what uh, that would look like with angles so this is called an angle bisector and an angle bisector is simply a segment or array that bisects an angle so just like we can cut in half uh, or divide a line into two equal parts we can also divide an angle into two equal parts. And so here we have an angle, we have angle ABC, and we're going to go ahead and draw in a bisector. So BD, I should have a D right here, segment BD bisects angle ABC. So what that means is that angle ABD equals the measure of angle DBC. And we can show that by these little arc things. So we have an arc here, and that means that this angle ABD, so this right here, is equal to the measure of this right here. So if we were to put some numbers with that and say this is 20 degrees, that's degrees, like the way this program erases. Say that's 20 degrees degrees, then that means this over here must also be 20 degrees. So just like we can bisect an, a line with a, with, a, with, a, um, with a segment or array, we can also do the same thing to an angle. Let's take a look at some examples of that. Oops. So what an angle bisector makes is two equal angles. It makes two equal angles. All right, go ahead and give these a try. On this one, it says that AB bisects CD, so find CE. So I'm going to tell you that ED is uh, 3 inches. So go ahead and find the length of CE. Okay, now that you figured that out, uh, BD bisects angle ABC. Find the measure of angle ABD. Okay, so uh, that means that DBC we need to, we need an angle measurement, and I'm going to tell you that this is 30 degrees. Okay, so if BD bisects ABC, the big angle, find the measure of this missing angle here. Okay, good. Now go ahead and fill in these uh, with. Uh, the blanks here. 
with the answers. Go ahead and pause it. Okay, so a point, a midpoint is a point that divides or cuts a line segment into two parts of, I should say, equal length. And bisect is to divide into two equal parts. And a bisector is a line segment or ray that intersects a line segment at its midpoint. Okay, very good.